Hey guys, welcome back. It's Shane from the Late Boy Scout channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. First off, yeah, it has been a while since I've spoken to you like this here on YouTube. There's good reason today, and I'll explain that. Secondly, let me tell you about my first experience with Front Sight. Long time ago, back in the early days of my channel, I got a four-day certificate to go down to Front Sight. So I took advantage of that. Made the trip, got the training, spent the ammo, spent the money, recorded the whole thing, that is to say, recorded summaries of each day and took lots of pictures each day because you can't film down there, and then made those videos, posted them here on YouTube, and got lots of great feedback about those videos. People enjoyed them, people thanked me for them, people came up to me and said, thank you for making those front sight videos. On subsequent trips down to front sight, when I went down there and learned new things on rifle, pistol, shotgun, uh, went down with my wife, went down with my son, I had people come up to me almost every single time down there. Thank you for doing those videos. You're the reason why I'm here at Front Sight right now. A lot of great compliments, a lot of great thanks, a lot of good feedback on those videos, good performance on those videos on YouTube and so on and so forth. Did Front Sight ever pay me for that? Absolutely not. Did Front Sight ever give me any discounts for any of that? No. Any sort of tangible or verbal thank you? None whatsoever. I didn't mind because I was getting what I wanted, good training and good content. That worked for me. Fast forward to today. <laughs> Front Sight is restructuring. They're changing the entire structure of what they offer their students and their members. And it's bad. And we're going to get into all of that in this video. So stick around. Now, before I get into the details of Front Sight's restructuring, let me first remind you guys that YouTube is very unfriendly to gun and firearm related content like this. So please use some of my affiliate links down below if you wanna support me. I don't get a lot of ad revenue on videos like this, and I certainly don't take donations like some other channels do. So please use some of my affiliate links. And by the way, on that subject, we have a new affiliate I wanna to promote today, and that's premiumskins.com. The link is down below. Use that link so that they can track it and see that you came from this video and also use my discount code for 15% off put in the late boy scout when you check out what is premium skins well they are vinyl wraps for your firearms rifles pistols shotguns whatever you got you can dress them up with a protective layer that looks really cool you've got all sorts of really awesome patterns camo patterns digital camo patterns you've got Oh, just, I can't describe them all, but there are really, really cool looking patterns that again, wrap around your handgun, your rifle, your shotgun or whatever to dress it up, give it some personality, make it stand out at the range, make you look into that safe and see it and say, yeah, man, I like that gun. That's my favorite gun right there. Check out premiumskins.com. Use the link down below, as I said, so that they can track it and see that you came from this video. And of course, Take 15% off by using code the late Boy Scout when you check out. Their vinyl wraps are extremely affordable. I highly recommend that you go and check those out. All right, so let's get into this story, guys. I'm not going to tell you everything that led up to this because I don't fully understand all of it. Only Ignatius Piazza seems to, and man, is he verbose. I mean, he's described it all in his, in his weekly or daily emails that he sends out. They are so, so long and difficult to get through and to read. I mean, it's like you're reading a Billy Mays commercial for flex tape or something like that that is like just pummeling you with details and like overblown sales points and so forth for like 20,000 words. They're, they're insane. Long, long, long emails. And I don't read the majority of them. But this one went out, I think this past weekend, and I had to read through the entire thing. Somebody sent it to me, brought it to my attention to make sure that I knew what was going on with Front Sight. And so I read the whole thing and I'm gonna to try to summarize just the most important stuff for you right now. What basically sparked all of this is the fact that uh, Front Sight got into some financial difficulties. How did that happen? According to them, they made a bad deal with some guy and they sent a lot of emails out over the past couple of years referring to this guy as the enemy of Front Sight. But they made some deal with this guy, they put some money out there, money didn't come back like they expected, and now they're seriously short on cash. So all of the benefits and all of the good times that we remember as members 
uh, front sight members going down there and you know just basically paying a, a background check fee and not much more to be able to get your training um, as often as you want. You could go down there as, as many times as you wanted as a member. Um, those days are gone. Those days are absolutely gone. They've restructured everything so that members now have to pay a monthly fee or annual, depending on how you want to charge it or pay it, in order to just keep your membership. Plus, you have to pay a fee, a couple of fees, like three different fees, every single day that you are there getting your training for whatever class you're taking. Also, a whole lot of the classes they used to offer, they're not offering anymore. The, the Alaska facility, they shut that down. Um, a lot of things are just kind of wiped off the slate. They're not there anymore. Front Sight is completely restructured what they're offering and how. And this is huge. This is pretty huge. I'll go through just a short list of the notes that I took. This is not everything from the email, not remotely, but here's just a few things. So now there's something called FS Bucks. They, they, they write it out F dollar sign bucks. So I, I'm just gonna call it FS Bucks and Front Sight Coins. And this is something that each member will have sort of in their account and be able to use that towards uh, different fees, uh, be able to buy ammo with it, um, things like that. I think maybe pro shop stuff, I, I'm not sure, but FS Bucks and Front Sight Coins are now a thing. Also, as I said before, the courses have been reduced to only firearm classes. So I think uh, the youth courses, the nighttime courses, the ropes courses, the empty handed defense and edge weapon courses, they're gone. It's all just firearm related courses. And again, I'm pretty positive that there's no nighttime courses anymore. Champion Club, never paid much attention to that, but that's closed now. The Ammo Club is closed. The Alaska facility, like I said before, is now closed. And also, if you have a bank of memberships in your account, like ones that you've accumulated or bought at some time or another that you intended to transfer to somebody or another, now costs a thousand bucks to transfer that fee to somebody else. A thousand bucks, used to be a hundred bucks. Now it's a thousand bucks to transfer your membership to somebody else. Yeah. So if you want to get memberships for everybody in the family, thousand bucks per pop, per person. That's the deal there. Now, this is the other really huge thing. All ammo that you shoot at front sight has to be purchased at front sight now. No more of this bringing ammo that you had, you know, at home in storage or whatever, where you've been holding on to it for five years, accumulating enough so that you and a bunch of friends can take a trip down there and you've got everybody covered for ammo. Not anymore, <laughs> no. Yeah, all the stuff you bought like three, four, five years ago for really cheap, all that nine millimeter 45 or 380 or whatever it is you wanted to shoot, you cannot bring any of that with you to front sight. If you're gonna shoot anything at front sight, any ammo at front sight, it has to be ammo that you purchased from front sight there for the class. Is that stupid or what? That's really stupid. I, I hate that. Next, uh, the membership maintenance fee. I mentioned this before. You have to pay $50 per month just to maintain your membership, to keep your membership that you bought or acquired in whatever way. You have to pay 50 bucks a month just to maintain it, to keep it. Or you can pay $500 a year in one lump sum, and that also maintains it. Pretty huge, pretty huge. Uh, but that's not all. Um, there's also this $100,000 in liability insurance that everybody has to have. If you don't have $100,000 in liability insurance that you've already accumulated or purchased or whatever for yourself from whatever your insurance company is, then you instead have to pay $25 a day for front site liability insurance per each student per day that you're attending that class. Per day. So 25 bucks per day that you're attending your class. So four day course, that's a hundred bucks for your liability insurance, okay, that you're buying from front site. Next, facility fee. You have to pay a $25 per day per student facility fee um, while you're at that class. So that's another, if it's a four day course, that's another 100 bucks. Then there's a $25 a day staff support fee per student per day while you're at that class. Again, four day course, there's another 100 bucks. So that's 300 bucks, 300 bucks for a four day course. And that doesn't count maintaining your membership and all that. So this is pretty huge guys. Yeah, it used to be a fantastic deal, Front Sight. 
where um, you kind of just got your membership and then you could kind of take classes whenever you wanted to. And it was a very nominal fee to go down there and you could buy your ammo there or not buy your ammo there. Um, but this is one of these cases where I think Front Sight seriously, seriously overpromised with some big, big plans and maybe shot way beyond the target that they could actually reach in, in, in the case of the plans that they had for Front Sight. And because of that, reached a little too far, got a little too close to the sun, and now we're all paying the price as Front Sight members. But this is the other thing. If you do not pay your 25, sorry, $50 a month to maintain your membership, and right now we're near the end of January, so if I don't pay my $50 at the end of this, this month to maintain my membership, guess what happens to my membership? Poof, gone doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, smoke. Same with all you guys. If you have a front site membership and you don't pay your 50 bucks per month to maintain it, poof, gone. You just don't have a membership anymore. And all of the benefits, all the credits, all the anything you've ever accrued in regards to front site tied to your membership, all gone. All gone. So 500 bucks a, month, a year, if you want to keep that, then 300 bucks, well, $100 no, three, wait a second. It's $75 per day for any class that you take. By the way, if, if you feel like this is a good deal for you and you still want to maintain it, I'm not saying don't. By all means, do it. Because you got to weigh that against what do other courses cost at other places. What do they give you versus what Front Sight gives you? Maybe it's worth going other places now. I don't know. As for me... I don't think I'm gonna pay this. I don't think I'm gonna do it because we've got at least three in this household and I wanted to have two more for my other two kids. And that's a lot of memberships to pay for and maintain. And I just don't think I wanna do that. So what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna pay it. By all means, if you guys want to, uh, to pay that and to continue your memberships, I would encourage you to do so. I have no obligation whatsoever and no loyalty whatsoever to front sight as i said at the beginning of this video i made a ton of videos promoting front sight talking about front sight all for my own benefit uh as far as views and as far as you know channel earnings and so forth and for my own benefit as far as learning but they never gave me anything for it they were never remotely interested in giving me anything for it so why would i feel any sort of loyalty to stick with them at this point i don't know Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't, but I'm inclined to let that lapse, and that's what I'm going to do. I, you do what you want to do. But I wanted to sort of put this out there because, and, and bring this to you guys in video especially, because, you know, after all those videos that I posted that I made that people thank me for, that I became sort of known for, I feel some duty, some responsibility as the sort of YouTube front site guy, in a sense, to give you my perspective and my reaction to this extraordinary reorganization of front sight. It's a massive restructuring and I think it's going to result in a loss of a number of students. Um, I don't think I'll make any predictions beyond that. It'd be a little uncouth to say anything else, but that's kind of where I'm at, guys. I, I am not going to be paying the fees, and I'm not going to be maintaining my membership. So uh, what will I do? I'll look for some interesting things to do elsewhere. But that's up to you to decide. Will you do the same? I don't know. In any case, I appreciate you watching. Once again, go see premiumskins.com. Go to that website, check it out, and um, order yourself some skins for your firearms. 15% off with code the Late Boy Scout. Uh, use the link down below so they know I sent you over. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you all later.